Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about what's going on in Thailand at present and the visas that are on offer and my interpretation of it and what I can see, what I can hear, what I feel and how things are progressing. Everybody's watching the news, trying to grab as much information as they can about getting back to Thailand. Well, I've lived here now for almost nine years and so I know a little bit about Thailand and what goes on and I've got to say those normal people who want to come back to Thailand it's going to take forever before that really happens. This so-called special tourist visa, well let me explain a little bit about it. The special tourist visa, the Thai government are trying to keep Covid out of Thailand which I commend them for because nobody wants Covid in their country but what cost is it to the Thai economy? Now again the, the Thai government are manipulating the figures saying we're not taking a hit on tourism as we thought we were going to be. Now again the, the, the figures are just being manipulated so the special tourist visa that they're trying to introduce. Let me go step by step through this and I'm sure you've watched many many of the videos but let me do some maths on this. Now I think the world knows Thailand is a cheap destination so the Thai government are trying to aim for the higher up higher class tourists coming to Thailand people with lots of money but I think they're aiming far far too high for instance for those special tourist visas applications you've got to spend two weeks in a, either a hospital or a government approved hotel now that starts at um, three thousand dollars for two weeks three thousand dollars for two weeks and it goes up obviously the better class of hotel that, that you want to stay in so the government are hoping to allow 1200 people in a month yeah 1200 people a month now at peak times there used to be 4000 people an hour used to come into Thailand in peak peak times so 1200 people a month yes it's it's a trial version but for what they're asking for for me it's far far too much and on their the websites that they're trying to encourage people to come here they estimate by 1200 people they'll spend at least thirty thousand dollars per month yes thirty thousand dollars per month that's twenty three thousand pounds per month whilst they're staying here on a long stay visa now I do a video on living on fifty thousand baht a month and I do another video on thirty five thousand baht a month I'm not a wealthy person I believe in the working class people and it's the working class tourists that come here that's my market it's the working class people I don't know about the super rich I'm sure if you can afford to spend thirty thousand dollars a month you are in the super rich category and are the super rich category going to spend two weeks in a hotel under quarantine where they can't leave the hotel i don't think so i think that if you've got that type of money you ain't going to be coming to thailand but i might be wrong if i'm wrong please leave it in your comments below and tell me i'm wrong but for the average Joe public who want to come to Thailand it's going to be a long time before you can come to Thailand it's just statistically out of reach for the Thai government to allow so many people back in um, because of the risk of Covid now again these super rich people who can spend $30,000 a month are they going to keep the economy going? No they're not there's a, a few videos about Phuket. Phuket was mentioned as being the little travel bubble but at the minute Phuket is dead. It's empty. It's dying. It's There's roadworks, there are pavements dug up, unfinished work all over the place. If you've got $30,000 a month to live on you don't want to visit a location like that. You've got the money to have the best of the best and I'm sorry Phuket at the, at, at the minute 
isn't the best of the best. Nowhere in Thailand at present is the best of the best because businesses are closed. Tourism is dead. If you go to Phuket and you go around the islands, there's no tour trips around. And 1,200 people a month distributed amongst Thailand. It, it, the maths just doesn't add up. It doesn't work at all. So I'm sorry to say, those people who are looking at the news and thinking, I want to come back to Thailand, it's going to be a long, long time before this really happens. They haven't got the finger on the pulse. For me, they don't know how to, to do this. It's the poor end of the market that's suffering. It's all the, the little noodle shops, the little shops, the bars. Anywhere that's tourist reliant, such as Phuket, apparently 90% of the income in Phuket is tourist based and if you get no visitors how are they going to make a living it's impossible up where i live in rayong the Kosamet island it's empty it's empty the fast ferry boat depends on 29 people a day to make a living just to cover the cost 29 people a day and they're not even getting 29 people a day so most days of the week they're closed and they'll open up on weekends when people come and visit the island. Thailand is known as the backpacker country of Asia, the nicest country in Asia for backpackers. It's not in the top five destinations for the super rich and I'm sorry Thailand if that's the market that you're aiming for because of the Covid you're going to fall short, way, way short, because somebody who's got $30,000 a month to spend here isn't going to come to Thailand for, and spend $30,000 a month. So, living on $2,000 a month, you'll live a really, really good life. Living on $30,000 a month, I can't imagine the lifestyle that you're going to live on $30,000 a month anywhere in the world. So. That's my little rant over with regard to Thailand and being able to, to come here. I'm sorry it's not positive news for the many tourists who want to come back here. It's going to be a long, long road before people start coming back to Thailand in the numbers that they were coming here before. Like I said, peak time 4,000 people an hour, not 1,200 people. A month so the restrictions are far too hard the people here are suffering because no tourists are coming there's trouble in Bangkok this weekend and um, many about a hundred thousand people gathered against the government and their handling of everything and um, so yeah the descent has started in Thailand the government for me aren't doing a good job um, as the governments in most of the countries around the world aren't doing a good job. Covid is everywhere. Thailand won't let anybody in to the country if their country is, hasn't controlled Covid itself. And Covid is on the spread most parts of the world. So maybe it's this time next year Thailand will start to open its borders. So from Les, still living the dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.